I want to give you another check of your weather. Again, cold, and we're, it's only getting colder this week, correct? Well, it's actually really not bad right yeah. now, and it wasn't bad yesterday in the middle 40s, but by Thursday and Friday, Joe, we're going to really bottom out in the deep freeze. So if you thought the last couple of days were cold, grab all those layers out of your uh, back of your closet because you will need them here by the end of the work week. We'll have a two-part storm system heading our way. The first will bring us winter weather in terms of rain and snow. It's the secondary part, the cold, bitter air behind it that we're going to to have Thursday into Friday morning that I'm also concerned with across our area. Now, out the door this morning, we have dry conditions for your morning drive. We're at 30 degrees, so for February standards, this is not bad this morning in terms of temperatures, and I want to spend the bulk of this time uh, with this weather cast, really showing you hour by hour what some of the newest weather information is pulling in with our latest run here of our Storm Track 5 forecast track. We are dry with some waves of clouds again for today. This is a look through your evening rush hour, but by tomorrow morning. I think we're going to begin to rapidly see moisture to our south lifting north. This is a look during our morning rush hour and I would not be surprised if we have big fat flakes of snow mixing with cold rainfall across our area for tomorrow. Now some of the newest models that have come in overnight are picking up on the potential that we may see a little bit more snowfall now across our area. We may see these big fat flakes falling. Now the one thing that we're going to have going for us with this storm system, our temperatures will be closer to freezing and we won't be in the 20s and it really makes a difference in terms of road conditions. I am concerned that we're going to see some slower travel, some uh, irritating weather for tomorrow all the way through our evening rush hour with this mix of rain and snow, but I'm more hopeful it's going to be manageable. It'll be wet, slick in spots and slushy in terms of travel. I do expect for many of us, we're going to go in the one to three inch snow range across our area here in Kansas City. We might be in the middle of that range, a good two to three inches, especially on the east side of town. The latest update to your Security Bank 7 day forecast. Here's the rain and snow on Wednesday, but this is what I'm concerned with. By Thursday morning, I, in all honesty, I'm more concerned about travel potentially Thursday morning after this mess is out of here. With temperatures in the single digits, anything that's left on the roads will be a sheet of ice Thursday morning. So we'll be watching that closely for you as well. Joe's, how's this cold for you? Eight degrees to start mm. off our Valentine's Day morning. So yeah, we'll take the 40s today. The good news, it looks like we're going to rebound into the 50s for those weekend plans. Over to you.